Hi everyone, I am Sanya Kure, and in this video, I want to show you how you can use PowerPoint, um, which is really cool to help you um, flip back with uh, videos, you know, up if they are upside down or need to be just flipped around, how you can use it as a basic editor that is really effective, especially because what's kind of funny is, um, well, I was trying to prepare this recording for you guys on um, like hard drives and um, kind of doing the conversion. And what happened is, as you can see here, for instance, the video, um, the text behind me is actually not in the correct orientation. It is sort of like flipped around. Like you cannot see what this says, unless you can read in mirror images, which is something I used to do. You need a mirror, you need to hold up a mirror to actually decode what I have written here. So like you're not able to see this. So all of it is sort of like flipped around the text. So I was sort of thinking, okay, well, what do I do? Because I had put in some time to um, record it. So fortunately, then I thought about, hey, you can use PowerPoint basically to do this. So what we're gonna talk about today is how we can do this operation using PowerPoint. That is how we can flip a video vertically or horizontally using PowerPoint. So what you can see here is this video. I'm going to talk to you guys about how we can flip a video um, vertically, which is what, what this is over here, or horizontally using PowerPoint. And, you know, the, it's sort of like almost like, you know, flipping um, an image is the same idea as flipping um, a video in PowerPoint. It's really cool and how it treats these images and videos. So here, this is a vertical flip here, for instance. So you're just like taking this and you're just flipping it across vertically. So that's what a vertical flip is. And a horizontal flip is when you're kind of um, you know, flipping it across the um, y axis, um, y axis. So basically, this is what I'm going to show you right here. Like you can see, this star like sort of flipped around on this axis. So if we were to draw this little axis here, it'll be flipped around this axis. Um, and that's sort of like what's happening here. So this is very free, especially if you have the Office, um, Microsoft Office, then this is great for you. Because you can just basically, uh, and I'm gonna show you how we can do this. Um, so let's, so all you can do is if you want to basically flip it vertically forever, and this is the same idea for images as it is for video. So PowerPoint kind of treats them the same in some capacity, allows you to crop images and do all of that. So which I'll kind of show you a little bit, but if you want to flip it vertically, what it means is that you're flipping it across the horizontal axis, the X axis. So it's like I have this image of me and then I'm just flipping it upside, you know, upside down, essentially, like it's, it's a mirror image of it. So that's sort of like what you can see here. You can see if you're flipping it vertically, it's like you have this image where this is gray um, triangle and you're flipping it across the axis. It's sort of looking like this then. And then if you're flipping it horizontally, what that means is you're flipping it around the Y axis. So you can see if this is the um, gray here, this is the image that you have. If you're flipping it horizontally, then what you're doing is you are just um, flipping it across what so looks like this, the other side. So if you're going from the, um, this to this, oh, and again, this is the images of me playing holy many years ago. So I look really purple and messy. And I thought it's great because you can sort of see like how the colors look and it, it might be easier to see how, you know, this image is flipped across, for instance. So that's sort of what this is. Um,
this is a horizontal flip and this is a vertical flip. So I think vertical sometimes can be easier, but it really depends. So how do we do this? So let me just show you guys. So the first things first, you want to upload the image um, or the video. So that if we put it in a new slide, for instance, all we have to do if we want to upload a video is we just have to go to insert video. So this is key, what's everyone's favorite slide? Well, of course, it's the one with the video. So you add a video to your presentation and it's gonna be much better. That's like, you know, you can, so basically just adding a video is going to make your video, uh, your presentation more interactive and fun that way. So you can look at online videos, you know, YouTube or other things. Maybe hopefully you could incorporate one of my YouTube videos in your presentation, who knows, huh? Just a little plug, please subscribe to my channel if you can and if you found this was helpful. So, um, you know, or incorporate in your presentations. So these are online videos, stock videos as well, premium content from the stock video library or this device. So what this device is typically is it's just um, any video of yours that you want to upload. So what I did is I just went to this device. So what I'll do is I'm just going to, um, so the video I'd recorded for you guys, it was actually um, via um, Zoom recording. So I just uploaded in here. And what I have to do is the following. And then what you're going to see is once you upload it, it's actually pretty cool. You can crop the video, like, you know, you can just crop it here. So some parts, and then another thing that you can see is that when I, you know, if I click to this minute mic here in this video, it's, it's the same, you know, it's sort of flipped around the text and I want to be able to um, adjust it. So again, I can like resize this and what you can do is you can always just, um, you can, you can close this for now, but you can always, you can incorporate what you like, but you might want to drag this to the whole screen. And that's where we have to just crop this as well. So we can just crop it. And I just sort of like drag it here. And now those are formatting things that you can always like kind of, you know, do, but um, what you want to do is you just sort of want, then when we have this here, so again, this video, talk about what is X fact? So you can see that this needs to be flipped. So all you have to do is you just go to video format. There's another thing called playback where you can trim the video, you can edit it as well. But you just have to go to the video format tab and then you're going to see the same thing here, which is called rotate or flip the selected object. So it's the same as for an image. All you have to do is you just have to flip it horizontally. So I'll show you before. And then the we do flip object. So what we had done, so that this is what it was before. So if we just flip it horizontally, which is what we would had done, then it looks like this. Now we can see it looks like migrate OS to SSD, partition recovery visit, um, make boot, boot, boot table media, all tools, resize, move partition, all of this stuff here. And now we can read it as well. And see- Sat 32. So I just sort of want to talk to you guys a little bit about what XFAT is and what is FAT32. And then, so that's, a, a, that's a basically what I did to troubleshoot it. We can also flip it vertical, and that means that you're flipping me upside down as well. If you want to, you can also just like rotate this whole thing around like this. So you can just play around with it. You could also like rotate it left, rotate it right, you know, so there are all those things, rotate it right to 90 degrees, uh, maybe try flipping it horizontally. So there are a lot of things. And when you finished it, when you finish editing this, you know, you can put in a new PowerPoint or whatnot, and 
you can finish editing it. Um, it's going to have what you want it to have as well. You know, it's going to be properly fixed. Then what you can do is you can just do file export. And then you can do file export, create a video, and then full HD 1080 pixels. And then you can just do create video. And it's going to then tell you, you can save it as well as something as an MP4 file. So in short, that's just how you can edit a video. You can flip it, you can rotate it, and then you can just export it out as a video for yourself to use as an MP4 file. So you can definitely use PowerPoint as your editor um, for videos. So guys, in my situation, what I wanted to do was to flip my video horizontally. So to flip it from um, this side to this side, pretty much, um, it just because it was in the opposite direction of what I wanted. So basically, it was something like this. So you can see that the text is kind of distorted and flipped around. And I just wanted to be able to convert this video, which is where all the text is sort of like kind of like backwards and everything is kind of jumbled across. Um, oh yeah, and that's pushy right behind me, right um, there. Um, and so I really just wanted to be able to flip the video back so that you can read this text behind me properly. And so that flip was horizontal. It was across the y-axis. No, it's sort of like not so intuitive, but if you sort of think of it this way, that if you're flipping an image, if you're flipping um, like a Monty the Little Moose from Montana, so you could just like be trying to flip him. And if you flip him horizontally, like from here to here, essentially, then what's happening is you're just staying on the same horizontal level. Everything is staying the same in a way. Like if, when you're doing the flip, it's sort of like from the same level from here, if in this is the level here, then you're just like flipping it here. Nothing is changing. That's a horizontal flip. But if it's vertical, it's like a reflection, like a reflecting pool. Then what you're doing is you're sort of flipping him like that way. So it's like moving down in the vertical direction. Aww. So ultimately, after flipping it horizontally, we should be able to get um, what we are looking for again, which is just this thing. And I just showed you how you can do it for free using PowerPoint. So essentially, we're going to go from here to here. Oh, man, I feel like I'm graduating. Oh, wow. Student life. So again, please let me know if you have any questions. And so this is like a horizontal flip, horizontal, horizontal. And the vertical flip would be something like, let me see if it's possible to do something like, like something like this. <laughs> Anyways, I really hope that this helped you guys. Um, so please let me know if you have any questions. Oh, it's a little bit of fuzz here. <laughs> Thank you for um, all your support. And I hope that this helps you see there's a lot of really cool video, video editing things that you can do in PowerPoint, which is so cool. Uh, many of the educational videos I make are through PowerPoint as well, um, and also in Zoom. So I just want you guys to be able to do these edits. But yeah, otherwise, there's some online tools, but you may have to pay for them. And um, sometimes you can just do a lot of the edits with PowerPoint directly. So why not? So I hope that this was helpful for you guys. So please let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything I could do to help. And please like and subscribe my channel. And maybe you can incorporate it in your PowerPoint presentation as well. So I'm Sanya Kule, and I really hope that you found this helpful. Thank you guys and have a wonderful day. And Lily Yang, she's here to just say goodbye. So again, we showed you how to flip, how to flip a video. We could also rotate a video too. Rotating from this side to, let me try it this side. But in all seriousness, I hope that this helped you guys. So lots of love and best wishes from little Yang, she and me.
I'm going to rotate you this way so that you can give me accuracy. Okay. And this way too. 